see, we're rolling. All right, this is an interview at the Best Western Motel, Plattsburgh, New York. It is the 25th of July, 2007, um, approximately 6 p.m. Interviewers are Mike Russert and Wayne Clark. Could you give me your full name, date of birth, and place of birth, please? Um, my full name is Frances Mary Reed. And, well, my, my maiden name is Gay. Do you want that? Sure, sure. G-U-A-Y. And uh, Reed is my married name. Okay. And my date of birth is December 12th, 21. And born in Champlain, New York. All right. What was your educational background before entering service? Um, well, 12 years of school and then uh, three years of nursing. Do you remember uh, where you were when you heard about the attack on Pearl Harbor? Do I remember? Yes, I do. I was a, my sister had just given birth to a child and we were all there in uh, this where we were when I... Uh, heard about it. Do you remember? It was awful. What else could it be? <laughs> okay. And w when uh, and where did you enter the service and when? I ended this, I graduated in 1945 and I entered the service in 45. Okay. And uh, you went into the Army? The Army Nursing Corps, yeah. Okay. Did you have to go in into a basic training first, no. or no? Why, why did you decide to enter the service? Oh, the five of us decided when we were in training together. Decided that we wanted to go. Mm -hmm. And uh, at that time, you were promised uh, that you would stay together as a group of five, as a unit. Mm -hmm. So what happened was happened was four of us were sent to. Florida, and I got sent to Mississippi, and my father said, that goes to show you for signing those papers. <laughs> <laughs> Were your parents not happy that you signed? No, he wasn't. No, oh, your father? No. Now, where were you sent in Mississippi? I was in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Mm -hmm. How, what was that like? Uh, was that your first time away from home? That was my first time to be, well, to be really away mm -hmm. from home and on my own. What, what was that like to be sent to such a different place. Well then in, in that time Mississippi was like a one horse town. There were when you arrived at the bus station there were horses tied to the post and it was really bad, you know, mm -hmm. backward. Mm -hmm. And uh, but the uh, assignment was good. Mm -hmm. yeah. What was your assignment there? Just general duty. Mm -hmm. Waiting to I had signed up for overseas duty when I when I went into the service. So we're just getting pre prepared for the overseas duty. How long were you there? In Mississippi, about four months. All right. And then what, did you receive your overseas assignment from there? From there, yes. Where did you go? I went to Italy. Mm -hmm. What uh, What month was that, do you recall? And I went over. It was in the spring of the year. Okay. Yeah. Because we, were, we came to Camp Shanks, and that was our port of debarkation. Mm -hmm. Now, did you go across in a convoy, or was it a single no, ship? No, there was a whole convoy, a lot of ships. Mm -hmm. the together. Did you go as a unit? Uh, as a unit, uh, yes, we did go as what a was your, What was your unit's number or designation? Your well, unit? our unit in Italy was a 267 station hospital. Now, what kind of... Uh, facility was it was it were they tents or were they in buildings or oh well we first uh, arrived you were in, in a building mm -hmm. and then from we we uh, and we arrived in Iran Africa that was our first we went from Camp Shanks to Africa we were there maybe two months and then they we had a convoy uh, to Italy and that was Naples that was in 1945? 40. Or 40. No, probably 46 by then. Oh, okay. No, it was more than 40. I married in 45, so 
That was, I finished training in 42, excuse me. Oh, okay. So the war was still on when you were over there? Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, what were your duties in this uh, station hospital? I was a surgical nurse. And all the time I was in mm -hmm. surgery. Now, did you receive those that were wounded directly from the front lines, or...? Oh, well, yes, we did, because we were a German prisoner of war hospital. Oh, okay. So we got the German prisoners, plus American prisoners, boys that misbehaved. They sent them to we were a prison hospital. Oh, so it was a prison hospital, so... Yeah. Oh. We took care of the German prisoners that were wounded. Mm -hmm. The German soldiers that were wounded. How, how were they as patients? Uh, were they cooperative or? They were very nice people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, they, uh, I mean, one, one time that I really felt bad for them, I had this young man on the, on the table ready for surgery, and all of a sudden he started to cry. He wanted his mama. He was only 14 years old. Mm, oh, my. And uh, he scared to death. So everybody kind of took, took he got very well cared for. Mm -hmm. Now how many were in your unit? How many doctors, how many nurses, do you recall that? I really don't know, it was probably 20, 25 doctors, mm -hmm. uh, 10 surgical doctors. And uh, we probably have 50 nurses. Were you kept pretty busy most of the time? We were kept busy. Were you ever short of supplies, or did you always have We always had plenty of supplies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. the Germans were very well taken care of. The Americans took very good care of them. Mm -hmm. Every now and then the Swiss, Swiss people would come and check, make sure that things were up to snuff and, mm -hmm. you know, kept right. Mm -hmm. At that time, penicillin had just been discovered before, I, right when I finished training, and it was very short in this country. But they were always very, always plentiful for the Germans for uh, for treatment and stuff. Mm -hmm. Did your hospital stay in the same location then? Uh, mm -hmm. After we hit Italy, Naples, mm -hmm. we stayed about the little town of Aversa about 10 miles north of Naples. We took over the town hospital and we worked in their hospital. We just, they just left and we, we took the hospital mm -hmm. over. Mm -hmm. And uh, we lived in the unit where the nuns lived who were taking care of the patients. So they had to move out and we had, we had good accommodations. Mm -hmm. What were your meals like? Did you have a, a kitchen with you? Uh, oh yeah, we had kitchen meals. Were kitchen okay. units with when you. When they were too bad, you use the GI ration. Mm -hmm. So, the only thing that were really bad is when going from Africa to Italy. We were on a British ship, and I'm saying I shouldn't say it, but they were horrible. <laughs> In the morning. You'd have cereal, and there'd be worms crawling around in that cereal. Oh, it was boy. just awful. Fresh meat. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, but um, after we were out about two days, then we, they gave us just a GI ration, because nobody would eat them. Mm -hmm. It was, uh, that was their ship, was, their food was not very well. Mm -hmm. Beautiful yeah. settings, and the silverware, and the napkins, everything was nice, but the food was bad. So. Now, how long were you stationed in Italy? Two and a half years. Didn't they send you off to where you was under fire? Yeah, they sure did. Tell them about Could you tell it. us about that? I'm trying to think of the place now. Anzio. Uh, Anzio. I was there as a surgical. Ten of us were sent as a surgical unit. You were there Anzio. after the landings, or? During the during the thing during, during the, the campaign, yeah, in Anzio, yeah, and uh, that I was very glad to leave. We were there about ten days, and then our hospital got busy, so we we were called back. Now, at Anzio, were you uh, 
working out of tents. Right, and out of tents. You were mm -hmm. right on the beachhead then. We were right, yeah. Were you under, now were your tents marked with the Red Cross? I don't remember that. Mm -hmm. I was just, you were so busy, I don't mm -hmm. remember that. But were you under fire directly? We were under fire, mm -hmm. yeah. I was scared. I, that was, uh, that was the only time really that I was ever afraid of. Over there, and it was rough. Mm -hmm. Now, did you get much sleep at all in those ten days? I don't remember. Mm -hmm. You were busy. Yeah, I was going to say you must have been yeah. almost constantly. Yeah. That now, how about medical supplies there? Or did you have enough supplies all the time? I didn't really. See, we went over as a surgical unit. I really didn't get into it. Uh, what they had me doing there was preparing and cleaning the uh, GI for to go oh, into surgery, mm -hmm. and that's what I did mm -hmm. there. I didn't really get into the, uh, I'm sure they had, because we never were short of, of uh, supplies mm -hmm. in uh, our unit. So. so you were there for 10 days and then you returned to your... Yeah, our unit, then mm -hmm. our hospital got busy, mm -hmm. so we they said, call this back. Mm -hmm. Did you ever get to see any USO shows or any entertainment while you were there at all? Have any break time? Yeah, we saw a couple. Uh, and don't ask me who they were, but okay. they were. <laughs> they did have some, yeah. Now, how much how much time did you work a, a day? Um, it all depends. Mm -hmm. you how know, busy you were? Yeah, they you had to to work if there, if you were needed. Yeah. I won't ever say we were overworked. A few days you were overworked, like 20 hours, but that was a, just a few days. Mm -hmm. And the campaign was on. But uh, living conditions were good. I, I can't complain about mm -hmm. that. Were you, were you promoted uh, while you were over there? You never got a promotion. Uh -huh. No. No. You went in as a second lieutenant and you stayed there. You got promoted when you... You get your first lieutenant when you when you uh, got out. Okay. That was it. All right. Um, when did you return to the states? Forty-five in November, around Thanksgiving time. Mm -hmm. Was there any talk about being? Well, once the war ended, ended in Europe, was there any talk about being sent to the Pacific at all? I was sent to Oh, you were? Yeah. We went from, I was married on a Monday, and the following Sunday, they were, she was, I knew when we were put on the ship, and went from there, we had about three days of, through the Panama Canal, about three days in Pearl Harbor, and then we were in Manila. Uh-huh. Then it took us about three months, but the war finished about two days before we got, before we landed in Manila. Oh, okay. And, uh. It took about three months to get a ship to get home, though. Now, what was the re reaction uh, when you heard about the atomic bomb and the end of the war? What was my reaction? Well, I remember in, in chemistry class, all right, we had a super chemistry teacher, and he says, if they ever split the atom, that's going to be the end of the world. Hmm. And uh, the, uh, we were, I was getting on the ship, the... Uh, I think we were on the airplane to go to getting ready to go to the Philippines, and we had heard that the uh, the uh, bomb had been had just been turned, the atom had split, and mm -hmm. the bomb had just dropped. And my reaction was bad because we had absolutely no news from the time we left Naples to the time we hit the Philippines. They, there was no mm -hmm. radios or anything to, and you wondered what was going on. Mm -hmm. That time. Do you recall when you heard about the death of President Roosevelt, your feelings at that point? Well, you were sad. Roosevelt. Well, what else could you be? Mm -hmm. You wonder yeah. what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. yeah. You've been the president most of your life, right. really. Yeah. Okay. When were you discharged? In November of 45. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, did you ever 
make use of the GI Bill? Not afterwards, no. Yeah. Have you joined any veterans organizations at all? No. Stayed in contact with anyone that was in service with you? Well, I, the five girls that we're uh, well, going to go with, mm -hmm. I've been in contact with them. Mm -hmm. In fact, we have our reunion next month, a CVPH reunion next month. Now all five of you are still living? Uh, four of us four. are. Four? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's good. Yeah. How do you think your time in the service had an effect on your life? Well, I met my husband, which was nice, mm -hmm. and uh, it, I grew up, that's for sure, when I was in the service. Now, where did you meet your husband? At Camp Shanks, just before I went overseas. Mm -hmm. Was he an officer or an he enlisted? He was an officer, yeah. Okay. He was captain then. And, uh, mm -hmm. and what did he do? Well, he was a forward observer for some tank group. He went ahead of the group mm -hmm. and set a uh, gun position for the... Okay. And, and uh, I, I think you, your husband received some sort of decoration from the French government? Yeah, well, I, he, yeah I'm looking. I can't find it in here. But yes, he had a, which would almost be like our Medal of Honor the French government gave him. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, uh, he was from Mississippi. He wasn't a New York mm -hmm. boy. Okay, well, thank you very much for your interview. Now, okay. do you have any photographs in there at all? No. Okay. All right. I told you she had a wonderful story, yes. didn't I? Yes, you did. Didn't I tell you? She